Hey, it's Lauren. So as you may have seen from the thumbnail or the title of this video, today I am sharing my big French skincare secret. I have not talked about any of these products on any of my channels. I have been using them for six plus months now. Uh, if there's one thing you should know about me when it comes to testing and trying skincare, I do not just put out reviews willy-nilly. I definitely give them some time to actually work because skincare does take time to see results. So this big secret is that I've been using predominantly French skincare for the last six months and not just like a brand like Caudalie or something like that, but products from French pharmacies. And I'm sure you're wondering, how are you getting that? Well, let me tell you, my big secret is that I have been ordering from a website called frenchpharmacy.com. And what makes this website so special is that they directly ship in products from the French pharmacies to be able to buy them in the United States. And this is a big deal if you're someone like myself who can't just like hop on a plane and go get all of these products right now, but you've been dying to try products from the French pharmacy. I first saw someone talking about one of these products on TikTok and I was like, well, I'm gonna give it a try. Like, you know, don't have much to lose here. So uh, I have made so many orders from this website. And so today we're gonna talk about all of the products that I have ordered over the last six months, what I think of them. Um, and yeah, it's this is gonna be pretty detailed. So let's buckle up and get into it. Um, okay, so we're gonna start with one of their top sellers. Um, and there's a lot of adulterated fake products claiming to be this on the market. Um, and so that is this, this is A313. This is a vitamin A pomade. And I'm gonna put this on my hand. I'm not going to put this on my face today. This is something that I use at night. So there used to be a product in France called Avibon, which was different retinol esters. This is the closest thing to that. They don't make Avibon anymore, Avibon. Um, so this right now, I'm going to give you all the prices of what everything is retailing for right now on their website. That does tend to fluctuate a little bit with inflation and things like that. Um, so let me show you A313. You don't need much of this on your face. As you can see, it is quite oily and greasy looking. This has 0.12% retinol esters. So here is what I will tell you about my experience using this. Yes, it is retinol esters, but this stuff is no joke. So you can see it's quite oily when you put it on. Um, and this is partially why I use it at night, but also it's just better to use retinol at night anyway. So once you get it all rubbed in, you've got this nice, thick, almost like Vaseline type texture. Uh, the biggest thing I will say with using this Go slow if you are new to retinol, even if you're not new to retinol. This stuff does not play around. Um, if you use it too frequently, you might end up with some flaking, some dryness. Uh, it's honestly very potent. And the other thing I will say that is very important to note about this is that it is a very important to apply it to dry skin. Like wash your face, wait. 10, 15 minutes and then apply this because if you apply this too close to washing your face, it will feel like you dumped habanero salsa all over your face and it will itch and you'll be scratching at it and it feels terrible. So definitely wait to apply um, because water really seems to kick up that spicy feeling on your skin. But now that I've been using it for quite some time, it is not nearly as bad. And I have seen such an incredible change in my skin. I did go through some retinol uglies, especially because I bumped up my usage. Um, I was using it like two, three times a week. And now I'm trying to use it close to every other day while using another more gentle retinol on those non A313 days. But I've seen a tremendous difference in the turnover in my skin. Um, and I think this is a really awesome product. Now that we've gotten the retinol out of the way, I'm going to kind of take you through my skincare routine with these French skincare products. So the first thing I'm going to be using is a hyaluronic acid cream. So because um, my face is dry, I'm going to pre-moisten my face a little bit with this water. Anytime you use hyaluronic acid, you want to make sure you are applying it 
to sort of damp skin because it's really going to help retain that moisture in your skin. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Eoluset Hyaluronic Acid Cream. This has 0.2% hyaluronic acid suspended in a cream formula. As you can see, I use these hair colored keys for all of these metal tubes. It just makes it much easier to really get all of the product. So I don't need too much of this on my face. I use about a pea size um, morning and night. And this is predominantly to be an anti-wrinkle cream. And I actually feel like this is pretty moisturizing on its own because it does have satiral alcohol, which is like a fatty alcohol. Uh, not all alcohols are drying, but as you can see, it's very rich. It does take a minute to work it into your skin, but I definitely feel like this leaves my skin feeling very hydrated. My skin does react when I touch my skin. It's not the product. I just tend to get red. Um, but I love this as a base for the rest of my skincare. It really just gives you a nice hydrated base to start with. Right now, this is retailing for $24.90. And there you have it. It almost leaves your skin looking a little velvety. It doesn't make you feel greasy. And that's one of the things I really, really appreciate about this formula in particular. Great stuff though. Really love how it just makes my skin feel so nice and plump. I do want to mention, I did get some forehead Botox um, really to help prevent deeper lines from setting in. But I do feel like this cream in particular, since I have added it into my routine, the fine lines around my eyes definitely seem to be a bit more plump than they had been before. Uh, so yeah, I really love this stuff. And in fact, I already have a backup tube. I actually have backups of most of these products and we'll talk about that at the end too, because it's just ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> now the next product I probably should have told you about before going into the Eluset Hyaluronic Acid Cream, but that's okay. We'll just work backwards. So this next product is for all of my acne prone girlies out there, girlies and guys, because you may be watching this too. Um, so this is Hexomidine Transcutaneous Topical Solution. This is a spot treatment and it has this enormous lid. The reason that they do that is if you have any um, little cuts or things like that on your finger, you can technically just dip it into there. This thing, this jar is gonna last so long because it's enormous. So what you do, take a little Q-tip, dab it in there, burp, burp, burp. and then wherever you have like any little acne marks, you just go in and dab it on there. And let me tell you, using this, the next morning, everything is flattened out. This is, I had something over here. I think it was right here. It's completely flattened out and it was raised yesterday. I do have, um, where are you? One little spot that's been like a deep, almost like cystic pimple for a long time and it will not go away and it is irritating. Um, but this definitely helps to flatten it out a bit. I absolutely love this stuff. This is like my secret weapon for tackling pimples and zits overnight. I do believe you're supposed to wash this stuff off after like 30 to 45 minutes. It's supposed to be used more as like an antiseptic dressing, but I've been using it overnight and it completely kills my zits and um, it's wonderful. <laughs> you could also use this for things like ingrown hairs and like little cuts on your cuticles and things like that. And it's really gonna help to prevent um, infections. And so it, it really predominantly targets anything that's more bacterial in nature. This stuff is freaking fantastic. Cannot recommend it enough. And this is $24.90 right now on their website. Homeoplasmine. This stuff is phenomenal for if you have like a chapped nose from a cold or your lips are kind of chapped. Um, this stuff has saved me. It is mildly antiseptic and it's a very thick formula, almost like Aquaphor um, or like Vaseline. But the unique thing about this, I'll put just a little bit on here, I'll put more on here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. It's this like oily ointment type formula. And then when you put it on your skin and you work it in, it's gonna take a second, but it does have a matte finish, which is very unique to a product like this. Because if you've ever had a cold and your nose is all chapped and raw and you go and you put Aquaphor on it, it just like is like so shiny and reflective and gross. 
This is not like that. I'm gonna put some around my nose. I don't really have a chapped nose right now, but I want you to see what I mean. This stuff, it just really calms down any irritation or redness you may have. So especially if you've been blowing your nose a ton, it's really wonderful that it's mildly antiseptic. Um, and this is 2440 right now on their website. But once that sinks in, it really is this nice matte finish. It's not overly reflective. I've used this even on um, the back of my neck. I do get some eczema. And because it has that sort of like matte finish, it doesn't seem to catch my hair in it as much. Let's rub some of that on here right now because it's just so soothing. It just feels really wonderful. Um, the only thing I'll say is if you're using this on your lips, you want to make sure you only have just a little tiny bit, but it is wonderful for any type of like chapped texture that you may have. I absolutely love this stuff. Now let's chat a little bit about moisturizers. Um, so this is the Embryolius Le Cream Concentrate, and I actually, oh God, <laughs> I actually have a bigger bottle of this as well. And I have a backup because I love this stuff. Um, okay, so this stuff I actually had used prior to my purchases through French Pharmacy um, because I know it's a big favorite amongst makeup artists. And part of the reason for that is that it has an antioxidant blend, but it also has some like mildly occlusive properties. There's some shea butter in there. There's beeswax. Let me look. Hydrolyzed soy protein, aloe. Uh, the smaller tube of this is $17. The bigger one, I can't remember off the top of my head what I paid for it, but it's a lot bigger. But basically this creates the most like smooth, delightful canvas for applying makeup on top of. Um, I just, I love what this does for my skin, especially if you tend to have drier skin. Those ingredients like the beeswax and the shea are really going to trap moisture in your skin. I love using this on top of the Elucet because it is going to kind of keep that hyaluronic acid sealed into your skin and it's just so wonderful. As a mild fragrance, um, I would I, I would say like a majority of these like ointments and creams and things and tubes that I've been getting from the French pharmacy don't have a lot of fragrance, but it is worth noting. There is a subtle fragrance with this, but I do have somewhat sensitive skin and this has not given me any problems at all. Um, I absolutely love this stuff. There was a period of time where they were sold out and so I couldn't get it and I needed a moisturizer. So I ended up getting this one from Top of Cream. This is the cream, the Hydra Rich Moisturizing Radiance Cream. And um, this one is actually really nice too. Now that I've got the Embryolis on my face, I'm just gonna show you on my hand. My hand is gonna be very well moisturized today. <laughs> okay, so this is the Rich Cream. Excellent if you live in a drier climate, as you can see, we've used a decent amount of it. And they say this is really something that you could use for the whole family, um, but it is this really nice rich cream. I don't feel like it's quite as rich or mildly occlusive as the Embryolise, but I have really enjoyed this cream and it absorbs really, really well. And it does keep your skin feeling really moisturized. I would say that like, I love the Embryolise for any time of day really. But I would say if you had to pick like one for morning and night, I would say the Top of Cream Rich Cream would be great for morning and then the Embryolise is better probably for night. Although I just love it any time of day because it's just such a luxurious feeling product. It feels so much more expensive than it actually is. It's fantastic. The Top of Cream though, um, that is 2440 and it has urea and glycerin and a biometric lipid and so it's supposed to keep your skin moisturized for 24 hours. I don't really, there's a mild fla fragrance to this one too but also nothing intense to the point where my skin feels irritated after using it. If you are extremely sensitive to fragrance always check your products and just see if fragrance is listed on there. Also essential oils because those can be somewhat more irritating. Okay uh, let's talk about a product that I really loved this summer. So the summer we went to the beach, we had been out in the sun a ton. I wasn't overly sunburned, but I did have a little bit more pink on my shoulders. And that is where BFN Emulsion comes in. This stuff is incredible for any type of burned skin, irritated skin, kind of chapped feeling body skin. This is not necessarily something you'd really want to put on your face because it can become comedogenic and eventually thin the skin out over time. There is an ingredient in this called trolamine, which is really great for that irritation from a burn. 
But the unique thing about Biafine is it is 75% water and it also is mildly occlusive, so it is going to help trap that moisture in your skin to help heal a burn faster. Basically though, what this is good for, it is good for um, mild wounds, pressure sores, dermal ulcers, burns, dermal donor and graft sites, radiation dermatitis, minor abrasions. You don't wanna use this on bleeding skin or open wounds. Um, but this was created with radiation burns in mind. It has a very unique smell, like mildly floral, I, I don't even know how to explain this, but uh, this stuff basically, when I had that little bit of burn on the top of my shoulders, it was a tan the next morning when I woke up. Like my skin was just like, ah, thank you. <laughs> this stuff is so wonderful if you have any type of burns going on on your skin. Another skin favorite from uh, French Pharmacy is the Nux Will Prodigeuse. It is fantastic. This stuff smells so good. Like I've killed this little bottle. <laughs> the scent of this is orange blossom, magnolia, and vanilla. And so it's just like this warm, cozy floral. I remember I was putting this on in the bathroom, like when my mom was around me and she was like, oh, it smells like a garden. Like it just smells so good. Uh, it's just, you buy it alone for the scent. It smells fantastic. This is $28. You can use this on your face, on your body, on your hair. Um, I'll put a little bit on my arms just so you can kind of see how it is. It comes with a sprayer, so you could definitely like spray it on. I don't mind doing it that way. Um, I honestly, I'll sometimes like spray it all over my legs on my arms, like right after I get out of the shower. Oh. They even make a perfume, which I have been so tempted to buy so many times. It just smells so good. Anyway, uh, this has seven botanical oils. I'm going to read this off because I cannot remember all of it off the top of my head. Um, it's got anti-aging subaki oil, softening sweet almond oil, moisturizing camellia oil, anti-wrinkle borage oil, soothing hazelnut oil, nourishing macadamia, and repairing argan. Um, but the nice thing about this is even though it is an oil, it is like a dry oil. Like once you get it on your skin, you don't have to be worried about like putting your clothes on or getting into your bed or whatever. This has an antioxidant efficacy shield. So it's great for your face for protecting against pollution. Um, it's going to help reduce the color of stretch marks. They say up to 30%, which is a pretty big claim in my opinion. Um, improves softness and suppleness of shine and hair. So sometimes like after I've put this on my body and like I'll just take like whatever is left on my hands and like run it through the ends of my hair. It really does feel so good. I've even used it as like a pre-treatment before shampooing. Um, it's just, oh, this product is just so, so, so lovely. It's a cult classic for a reason. It smells so good. I'm gonna move into um, three more products that I purchased and I have some kind of mixed opinions about these. So I got this Topicram Ultra Moisturizing Lip Balm and it's in a stick form and this stuff is fine. I just find that it's a bit on the thinner side. I feel like I really have to like really go over it a lot. If you like a thinner lip product, you'll love this. Um, it's not super heavy or thick feeling. I just, I, I like something a bit more plush on my lips. I'm like Goldilocks. I need something that's not too thin, not too thick. That leads me into my next product that I felt very mixed about, which I was bummed because I know that this is a really popular product. This is the Nux Rêve de Miel. It is the like honey lip balm from Nux. It smells incredible. It has like this orange honey scent. And as you can see, it's like quite thick. And I just, I feel like it's very waxy. Um, I don't like this for daytime necessarily, but I do like this at night a lot actually. So it's kind of one of those products, like it has a very distinctive use. I just don't love it for daytime because I feel like it kind of like chunks up on my lips. You know what I'm saying? Great for nighttime though, because it is very occlusive. And so that honey is a humectant. So it's gonna draw that moisture into your lips and you've got the beeswax that's gonna like seal all that juiciness in. So yeah, great for nighttime, don't love it for daytime. Um, and the very last product that I'm going to talk to you about is from Avene, and this is their Sickle Fate uh, Repair Balm. It's a lip balm also. I have a little bit on my lips right now, but I'm gonna show you. There's zinc and copper sulfates to help avoid bacterial proliferation. 
Uh, there's castor, beeswax, and Avene thermal water. And this is, I don't know, my paper got ripped. Um, so I have mixed emotions about this. As you can see, with any Sika products, they've got a whitish tint to them. And so this, if you put on just a little bit, it's not bad. But I've noticed if I have this on and I like go take a sip of something cold, it's like white instantly, like white product on my lips. And I just don't love that. But it is really great if you're just like chilling at home, going to bed, whatever. Really, really great moisturizing product for your lips. Great for if you have any type of irritation or chapped lips. Uh, I even read like people that were going through chemotherapy and radiation really love this because like their lips get really, really dry. And a lot of people were saying that this is great for that. Do really enjoy this. Don't love that it's kind of white tinted. <laughs> but that is my French Pharmacy skincare roundup. I hope it was kind of helpful to see all of that. Oh, I do have to show you something. Hang on. So here's the thing. French Pharmacy tends to sell out of stuff. And I refuse to be without any of these products. <laughs> I have lost my mind, people. I freaking love this website. I love all of the products that they carry. Like, literally, I have backups for days because I refuse to be without them. I think it's also worth noting, this video is not sponsored. I was not gifted any of these products. I have bought them all myself. I love, I love FrenchPharmacy.com. It has changed my skin, okay? The great thing about this website and these products, they are not going to break the bank. They are much more affordable than a lot of big name brands and they are very, very effective, okay? Um, the one thing I will say and kind of why I have all of these, they do tend to sell out of things and then it takes a little bit of time for them to restock. So basically what I will advise is if you think you're going to love any of these, buy two because if they sell out, you're gonna be irritated that you're gonna to have to like wait to get another product. And that's another thing. So like I kind of like periodically check on the site and kind of look at my stock of like what I've got. And if I'm running low on something and they have it in stock, I'll go ahead and buy it if I know I'm going to use it because they do run out. And then you don't wanna be stuck without your favorite products. So that's why we've got a lot of them. <laughs> These are my babies. I cannot recommend this site enough. Um, I absolutely love all of the products that I've tried for the most part. I really hope that this was helpful. I hope that you go purchase something from frenchpharmacy.com because you will not be disappointed. I have had such a wonderful experience. Um, the shipping usually takes about a week, maybe just a few days over. So do keep that in mind as well. Uh, and happy shopping. Now you know my French skincare secret that I don't have to have a plane ticket for. I love frenchpharmacy.com. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if it was helpful in any way, please give it a little thumbs up. That does help other people find my channel. And if you wanna see more of these types of reviews and breakdowns and things from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I will see you next time. Bye.